Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. I'm in our addition project here, and this is stage two of three stages in building our homestead. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a house build to be built in stages so you can stay on budget and still get it done. And this is the key. Right here we have a door opening that is temporarily framed out to be a window opening. And on the back part of the addition here, this is where eventually two bedrooms are going to go here. So when that happens, this window will come out this framing right here is pocket screwed in place from the underside. So this will have regular walls, it'll have drywall and everything. All I gotta do is come in, score the drywall, pop the drywall off, unscrew this, take the window out, and I have a, a door opening already built in. This one right here is just going to be buried but it's another opening so there's going to be a door to a bedroom here and a door to a bedroom here in the future but for now this will just be a blank wall and we'll have the window here and we're going to run plumbing coming down right here plumbing and electrical that'll be poked through into the addition when it's time to build that. And we did the same thing here. We had water. This is a communications conduit um, for high-speed computer access to the bedrooms or internet access. But we have, there's earlier video showing this. This stuff was just it died inside the wall. I have the plumbing here covered up, but I, I did this now, but the plumbing was inside the wall as well. So what I did is open up the wall and connect to all this stuff. This conduit, all I need to do now is pull the wire here, and that's gonna go to a box right here, and then continue on for the next part of the build. So we had, we built this house in 2011 and this was just outside that entire time. We just started this this last spring or the spring of 2019 and I'm still working on it of course. And there's a few other features I'm going to show you as well. The back door of course is just going to come out. That'll be a hallway there. Uh, we might put a door a new door there, but it won't be an exterior door like that. It'll be a nice finished craftsman style door. But we have a feature up here as well on the stairway, and I'll go show you that. And the roof up here is a flat rubber roof, and on top of the flat rubber roof, it's going to have a bunch of these pedestals and on the pedestals you have square um, pieces of patio. It's kind of hard to explain but they're just a square section of wood patio frames and you stack these on the rubber roof and it'll turn the rubber roof into a deck. When everything's all said and done there'll be a deck up here and we have a window that was built into the house way back in 2011, just like these. I'll go show you that in a minute. So we'll be able to walk out from the upstairs right onto the deck here. And then there's going to be some interconnection with the final part of the build as well. And I'll show you that in a future video. But let me go up there and show you what that looks like up there. And here it is from upstairs. 
there is the rubber roof. There's a, a playlist for that that shows, shows me putting in that whole thing. But this entire build is on the channel. So those pedestals go on the actual roof and they suspend a grid a checkerboard of wood panels that'll make up the deck. So it'll be kind of like an infinity pool. You won't be able to see what's holding the deck up when you're up here. It'll just be like a sheer drop off on the side. Should look pretty cool. Uh, it'll have railings, of course. So this wall is designed the same way as down there. That sill will come out and the structure below the wall will come out. And I have the wiring that goes, there'll be lights out there. So I'll just put the switch in and run the wire out through the wall. And bada bing, bada boom, we got lights out there as well. Also on the stairs here. So this is on the landing of the stairway where I'm standing. And on the wall here, you can see a faint outline in the drywall which I put there so I would be able to find it real easy because this was, we were planning on opening this up much earlier, but we're going to do it this spring. This is going to be for a stained glass window in the stairway here. So whenever we have the funds or the time or whatever the criteria is, we do the next phase. So everything's designed to be done in steps. That way you can have better quality stuff and live with it until you're ready for the next step. We also have an outlet here, which we're using right now for this, but we have the option of putting a, a air conditioner in here as well, but we're not gonna do that. There's the barn that you saw in yesterday's video. We lived in there while we built the main house here. I'll show you a couple images of that as I talk. But we have, everything is planned out for the next stage. Right where that greenhouse is, that's where our garage with a workshop on top of it is gonna go. We wanna build a, a three car wide garage, but extra deep so we can work on vehicles and stuff there. We do that right now in the shed across the street, but that, in the end, that's gonna be for fabricating metal work and working on tractors. We'll leave this space for cars and stuff, but I'm gonna set up my wood shop in there on the second floor in there. So everything in stages. And again, for the crackers, this addition is 16 by 20. So if you want to get a feel for your tiny home, this is what 16 by 20 will get you. And if you don't have an upstairs, you can do the deck thing too. You can put a spiral staircase going up to a, a roof deck like I got there if you wanted to. I got all the videos on how to do that. So if you want to give it a shot, you can look at them and learn from my mistakes. So that's going to wrap it up. I hope this video gives some people some ideas. Just remember, you don't have to do everything perfect right from the start. If you need to get the place built and get into it and start living out of the city, just do it and do the finishing touches later. Like our kitchen, I'm a master cabinet maker and we have Menards stock off the shelf cabinets in our kitchen. So as soon as I get the wood shop set up or possibly set up in the, in the shed, I'm gonna build all that stuff and I'll make some videos of that too. I'm gonna make some really cool custom cabinets for the kitchen and I'll be building the stairway pretty soon. The stairway's interconnected with this wall there's going to be penetrations going through the wall for ducting and stuff. So there's a stairway build coming up as well. 
and I'll show you the temporary stairway we built, which we still have. That's going to be coming out, and I'm going to reuse that somewhere else on the land. That's going to be used across the street, and then a uh, nice stairway is going to go in. So that'll wrap it up. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon so you're notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. I generally answer every one of them. And if you would do us a favor and give us a thumbs up and or share the video, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.